Look, everything's... My... My stream die? I don't think it died. Bitrate, I think, went bad for a second or something. Everything fine? Hope everything's fine. It's a blue coat. Okay. Shiroi koto kirumas. I wear a white coat. I wear a white coat. Oop. It's not saying the audio. Wait, is it? No, it's not. Weird. Kiroi seta o kimashita. Kiroi seta o kimashita. I wore a yellow something. Seta. 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 Okay, so now it's not a sueta, it's a seta. <laughs> they just dropped the W sound. So I wore a yellow sweater. I wore a yellow sweater. Seta. Sweta. Seta. Aoi seta okimas. Aoi seta okimas. So Aoi seta o. Mas. So I will wear a blue sweater. Aoi seta okimas. Yeah, I wear a blue sweater. Kiroi shatsu o kimashita. Kiroi shatsu o kimashita. I wore a yellow shirt. I wore a yellow shirt. Mir kagami puppy queen. Haya or hayaku fast. Iro. 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 Kimas. Kiroi Aoi. Uh, Iro Akai Kiroi Kimas Aoi. Blue to wear, yellow, red color. Iro Akai Kiroi Aoi Kimas. Aoi Shatsu Kimas. I wear a blue shirt, or I wear a blue shirt. I will wear a white sweater. I wear a white sweater. See, it's saying that will is like an available thing. Like, oh, I will wear something or I wear something. But then not having it in every single time you like go and do something. Really, or every time you go and try and enter it. Really throws you off. Okay, so this goes all the way up. And this, I think, leads right to the um yeah. leads right to the door so this this boss run is entirely like this area okay, and if I really cared right if I really wanted to right I got 40 you know what yeah I care uh, I'm just gonna go to the shrine bonfire get the level and then I can because this is the boss run. Like, you can just see it. <clears throat> That's the boss run. It's not worth it to carry these even deeper oh. and waste everything. Um, I, I should... Uh, I should see. So I need... Basically 4,000 even. That's oh. easy. So... Um, two. Boom. Three. Where are you, girl? How's it going, girl? Welcome, Ooh. Oh, Very well, well then there taken. we go. See, it's funny how I was like, oh yeah, no, hopefully this stream I'll be like leaning back more instead of like forward. But then, lo and behold, Farewell. headset shenanigans make it so uh, I will, in fact, oh, I should go get, uh, go use the Esther shard to get my... 14th flask. Um, it's like, oh yeah, no, you're gonna have to be careful. Uh, reinforce. There's that. <laughs> A lot. Good, good, good. Reinforce. Yup, yup, yup. Um, yeah. Nope. Uh, Talk. Weapons and brickwork when over when their durability is low. Use a powder, but should chance him, I'll hammer. They take no pleasure, so 
Okay. Pretty Sounds be good. careful. Pretty be careful. Roll, roll, roll. I'm curious as to how many. Because I, I, th I think it's 15. I think 15 is the maximum number of uh, tips you can get. I think. But I'm not sure. I don't know if the game prompts you with that as well. Like, telling you how many you actually have. Oh, but look at me. I look so... shodden and cool. Uh, I most certainly do not play Fashion Souls. <laughs> I am... I am perpetually give me most defense on the things I need while also giving me the role I desire souls. Okay, so let's just run. Yeah. Yeah. You guys just not, please. There's a big heavy door. And we're just gonna Oh god, you you guys can really just come up. Okay, hello boss fight. Okay, let's try it. Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Indeed. Welcome, unkindled one, purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. Hmm. The fire linking curse, the legacy of Lords, let it all fade into nothing. Great. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Okay. Yep. Yeah, too close to the seat. go first phase Lorian elder prince yeah, he's he's interesting he's not too tough um, it's just the teleport that you have to get used to um. oh, dear brother I'm okay on my way yes you are okay my brother his fingers are very long. Of Lothric's prince. Rise if you would. If you would. For that is our curse. Oh, just eating that mic. For that is our curse. <laughs> oh, love it. Yeah, so that's basically giving you a hint that if you take out um, Lorian, uh, the big, br the 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 physically large brother, that he can just get rezzed in this phase um, because there are actually two health bars going in. Okay. 
God damn it. Fuck it. Ah, God damn it. Try. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, so basically, you always have to attack Lothric on the back. Among the accursed. Okay. Not too bad if I say so myself. Cinders of a Lord, Soul of the Twin Princes. Interesting how it's a single soul. Huh. Look at me. Okay, uh, let's come down and look at the inventory. Soul of the Twin Princes, one of the Twisted Souls steeped in strength. Used to acquire numerous souls or transposed to extract its true strength. The two princes rejected their duty to become Lords of Cinder and settled down far, far away to watch the fire fade from a distance. A curse makes their souls nearly inseparable. Ah, okay. Interesting. And then we have... The item that is Cinders of a Lord. And this one just kind of actually looks like a normal human head. Um, Cinders of a Lord left by Prince Lothric. If the Lords will not return to their throne themselves, let them return to Cinders. The Lothric bloodline was obsessed with creating a worthy heir. And when this proved impossible, uh, resorted to unspeakable means. Suffice it to say, the path to linking the fire is a cursed one indeed. Okay. I'm trying to think. So, the... The Lords of Cinder were the uh, Abyss Watchers. That was one. Then it was Aldridge, Yorm, and this, uh, and the Lothric and Lorien. Um, I think the Abyss Watchers is the only boss or is the only Lord of Cinder that took more than one attempt. Because I first tried Yorm, I first tried Aldridge, I first tried... Lothric and Lorien. I think I only died once or twice to Abyss Watchers. So that's that's pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. That is pretty darn good. So let's go back to Firelink Shrine. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what? I didn't do it when I beat him, but let's throw in some dabs in the chat. <clears throat> because beating a Lord of Cinder is worthy of that. <clears throat> Ugh. And now I have a whole bunch of, like, look at that health bar now that I'm all Welcome cindered up. Level up. Good, good, good. Okay, so I only need a bit more. 51, 4, 7, 8. Fifty-one, four, seven, eight. Fifty-one, four, seven, eight. Um, so ah. like eight thousand. Fifty-one, four, seven, eight. Um, fifty-one, four, seven, eight. There we go. Sell the Homer bones because I don't need them anymore. They're just they are now pocket change. Welcome. Okay, so that is very good. So now that is also at its soft cap. Um, so now I'm, I can just start going into decks just hard. Um, I could also... Farewell. Um, uh, what I could... Nope. Nope, wrong. There we go. I could also try and get to 18 strength. Just in case I ever want to use the Fair and Great Sword. But I frankly I think it would probably be better of me to um not and then just um use it um and, and like respec uh -huh. if I ever feel like I want to use it or need to use it. Talk the eyes. Show a world, a place. So, I willed myself, Lord, to link the fire. What is that? 
Okay. So we got some things. Oh, Champion Gundir. Increases vigor, endurance, and vip. Take more damage. Portion of Steel Chain used to restrain Gundir. Gain a yeah, prisoner is one who has staked everything on a belief and a proclivity most apparent in the greatest of champions. Interesting. Yeah, I never checked that. Stray Demon, you are the giant. Did that. Um, Dragon Slayer Armor. I also didn't check that one. Melted iron shield that once formed part of the Dragon Slayer armor. The shield offers higher protection to lightning, which the Dragon Slayer commanded as his own. And its skill has faint echoes of the Dragon Slayer's own fighting style. Neat. So, uh, Soul of Aldridge. Yeah, did that. Soul of Demon. Champion Gundyr. Here we go. Gundyr's Halberd. Uh, halberd uh, of Gundyr the Champion received when he was charged with his duty. This old cast iron halberd has the power to break poise and is said to never crumble, seeming to suggest that Gundyr was fed to eternal service from the beginning. Um, but I'm probably not going to use that or that, so that is a free soul to just use. Um, oh, I'm Dragon Slayer Armor. Dragon Slayer Great Axe, 40 strength. Also, free soul to just use. Melted Iron Great Axe that once formed part of the Dragon Slayer Armor, thickly imbued with the power of lightning. Use skill to draw upon the techniques used to slay the Arch Dragons. Um, okay. Twin Princess, okay. Lorien Great Sword, 26 strength, 10 dex. Ultra Great Sword of Lorien, Prince, Lothar, uh, Prince Lothric's older brother, cast in smoldering molten steel and stained black. Before Lorien embraced his brother's curse, he was a knight who single-handedly slayed the demon prince, but the victory eternally scorched his sword with flame. Interesting. Um, there we go. There we go. Lothric's Holy Sword. Prince Lothric's straight sword blessed by Emma with potent magic. Young Lothric was meant to be a champion and was expected to wield this platinum sword. But some things will remain distant dreams forever. Sacred Lothric Light. Assume stands to imbue sword with sacred light and use strong attack to release light together with a great thrust of the sword. Interesting. Okay. But that's also 10, 18, but 14, faith. So not going to really use that. So both. I, got I took the mantle of Lord of Choose thy fate alone. All the more. So he's like, okay, yeah, if you if you if you want to not do the thing, don't do it. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, so I I'm curious, does she have any additional text or dialogue now that I've ah, speak freely then? Oh Lord, I prithee when the moment the other go out. Okay. Oh. So no no bonus text. Uh, for me, because I did that, but, but, now, uh, while normally it would be the moment of reckoning of, hey, go put down all of the Lords of Cinders of the Lord, because, you know, we got, uh, we got Aldridge, we got him, we got Lothrix up there. Which is where I'll go. We got the Abyss Watchers, and we got Yorm. Well, we would go up there, right, and place the cinders, and it would then, like, move us forward. I'm not going to do that. Now in vain I'm coming. <laughs> uh, I don't know what your deal is. I feel like I remember you doing stuff somewhere else, but I can't quite remember. But. The important thing that I do right now is actually go back to the Irithel dungeon. I believe I believe the Irithel dungeon is the place I need to go. Um, because I need to go uh, begin the process of meeting the uh, meeting the sub goal. So a couple weeks ago, or a while ago, I can't I can't exactly remember when. Um, when was it? Was it? Yeah, it was a few weeks ago. It was on July fourth, it seems. Um, Mr. L uh, yeah, Mr. Light. Um, oh crap! How do I get there again? Uh, was that it? Or was that not the place that I needed to go? Oh. Um, Mr. Light donated five subs and met the goal for me to do uh, the Nameless King boss fight. And for that, I need to go to, like, what, the Valley of Dragons or something? I can't quite remember the actual name of the place, but it's a place that I need to go to. Um... 
Okay, cool. I have this now. Rusty gold coin. Nothing special. Um, where's the elevator for it, though? Is it further back? Is that... Because that was one. But where... This is here. Could I... Hmm. Is it going to the right place? Because I'm... See, that's the thing. I don't exactly remember. I thought that was the way. Is it... God, how do I get there? Because basically I have to get to where that... um. That um, a dragon statue was like sitting, but I can't quite remember how I get because I can't remember if it was. Uh, I think it was. There we go. Okay. Um. Is this? Oh. There you go, bastard. Yeah, because this takes me down more towards the profane capital. Or am I am I thinking of the right place? It was there? Is there an elevator over there? That was also... One. So there was that. That was somewhat of a shortcut over there. No. Okay. Um. Okay, so maybe I actually do just have to go to where that... Where that thing is. Weird. Okay. Yeah, just trying to... That's the... There we go. Plenty of... Plenty of stuff. No, how big is that? Where the heck was it? Okay, you know what? It's time to explore around. Was it actually? Because. Hmm. This is the trouble with this particular thing because. Because it's a completely optional area, right? They didn't. They didn't really make a fast travel that I remember. Yeah, you guys are lightweights. Hey, how's it going? Get out of here. Um. Okay. You know, what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look it up because I don't wanna don't wanna waste too much time trying to find it. Um, DS3. Oh, is it Arch Dragon Peak? That's what it's called, Arch Dragon Peak. Um, previous Betafield Dungeon. Uh, lower floor. Moving capital. Um. Where is it? Where's the other? Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so I think I have to go downstairs in the... So I think the dungeon is the right area to go to. So I think I was in the right area like previously. Um, but I just need to be on the lower level of it. Yeah, oh, that's what it is. I remember. So at the other end of the hallway that I'm about to enter, like looking here... There was there that was where the lift was. So basically, I'm just going to be running straight from here. And there's yeah, there's an open door over there. That's where it is. Yeah, you're here, bitch. I was going. I'm still leaving you alone. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be all weird. That's fine. Oop. Okay. So this this is going to take me down to where I need to go. Good. Awesome. I, I knew there was a lift that took me down to it, but I could not for the life of me remember what which lift it was. Yeah, you pick up the torso stone right there. Boom. At least I think you pick up the torso stone. You pick up a torso stone here. But yeah, so you come over here, sit right next to this dragon lad. And then you do Path of the Dragon. And then you just wait a little bit. Yep, there we go. Dark Souls really loves, well, FromSoft just loves it. it's like, get something obscure and do it somewhere and wait. Or the do something and wait for a long time for something to happen. Like the curl up in the nest thing in Dark Souls 1 where, so the birds will take you. Um, I know in Bloodborne there was like, oh, you get like the, you get a pose and then if you do it in like the bottom of like the castle with like all the um, crazy people to give you that, the, the people that give you like the craze stas effect um, and just do it at like the brain that you drop down. Uh for like a while, eventually, like your arms will switch over, and you'll just get like the, uh, you'll just get, I think, like the best upgrade item thing. Our Dragon Peak. Okay, so doing good in terms of damage. So this area is once this, once again completely optional, and therefore. Um, it, it is a bit tougher. Um, additionally, this area is only accessible after you have done um, Osiris, at least, which thereby, um, like puts a flat limit on like, okay, you have to be at least this good slash strong to even get here because the prerequisite thing Path of the Dragon you pick up from the body I think of someone or one of the dragon people things um after you beat um Osiris oh Homeward Bone yeah so that's if you get here and realize oh these things are a bit tough for me um You are so annoying. Okay, can you? Uh, God, 
I'm, I'm glad I still have that. Oh my god, you... Damn it, damn it, damn it, fuck. Jesus. Yeah, these guys are a bitch if you let them... You let them, like, team up on you. One to one, to one Bellsword Twin Blades, Prey Darn, Prey Darn fine, but jeez, when you... <sighs> when you, when they're just going at you, they're going hard, and it's not great. Um, okay, so there's a bonfire right there. Well, you know what, I'll light it, uh, but I'm not going to sit at it just yet. Yeah, I was thinking it when I was um, fighting Lothric and Lorien. How I forgot to swap off Pont uh, Ring of the Evil Eye back to um, Pontiff's Right Eye. So I was like, oh no, I'm not going to be doing as much damage. Um, because, right, like, what does it matter if you get back health back after you kill an enemy in a boss fight? It's like you're just trying to kill the one boss. Unless there's adds, that doesn't really help in any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, okay. So here you can do this kind of like clever loop around thing that way. These guys don't aggro prior to you being ready. Jesus Christ. There we go. Boom. 3960. Yeah. So basically, you can definitely see why the winged angels would be so valuable for grinding, and why I thought there was a bonfire there. And it's because those, if you remember right, those things gave 13, 13.4 thousand, right? 13,400, I think, on each kill, or 14,300. Bastard. Um. So it's like, yeah, you could kill a whole bunch of those. That would be pretty nice. Okay, lightning clutch ring. Um, increase lightning attack, but compromises damage absorption. Ring depicting a hand grasping a yellow stone. Increase lightning attack, but compromises damage absorption. Oh, Fable and Lana claims that the lure of the clutch ring reaches out to the Cresson, who, other might, who might otherwise be overcome by despair. So this is actually a very nice ring, because you're fighting a whole bunch of, you know, an arch dragon peak. You're fighting a whole bunch of lizard dragon enemies, which are canonically weak to lightning, because that's like the lore where the the gods came up with lightning miracles to rip away essentially the scales of the dragons, and eventually get to the fleshy bits underneath and be able to kill them. Um, so giving you that ring is like, hey, if you want to increase your lightning damage, here you go. Um. Okay, so I'm sitting on 21.7. That's less than half a level, so we'll just work with it. Okay, and we're not going to worry about those guys. Boom. Not through here. So this is actually a pretty interesting sequence, um, because they're this big-ass dragon. And there's that uh, there's that message right there that I ran past um, that tells you something, but that something is basically uh, hit it hit its head. <laughs> um, now what it doesn't tell you uh, is that you need to drop on it. I think from a like drop on top of it. So one interesting thing is that you're kind of meant to swing and try and fight the dragon as you would kind of a normal boss, like go after its feetsies and maybe hit its head when um, available. But um, the idea is like, oh, you would attack it for a while and realize I'm not doing all that much damage. Uh, I need to do something else or maybe I just don't fight the, maybe I just don't fight it right now. Um, Keep going. Maybe I just don't fight right now and run away. 
that run away would lead you to, oh, this like very circular arena. And this note that says weakness head. And then you do a drop attack and you one shot it. So yeah, and there's this note right here, plunging attack. So it's like, hey, do a plunging attack. How would you do that? Well, you need to get up. Ancient Worm, Dragon Headstone. There we go. Ugh. Now, this does immediately teleport you, but you can't come back here. God, my arm. You can look, you can see how hollowed out my arms are on my model. They're just absolutely decrepit. Dragon, uh, Dragon Headstone, cool. Okay. Come over here. Yeah, so now... See, this is one... That's an interesting boss where it's like... The boss is not the boss itself. The boss is... Getting around the arena without dying. Um... And they just give you a whole bunch of souls at the end. Which is nice. It's probably, it's probably the easiest souls in terms of like a boss... That you're, you're gonna get in this game. Um, okay, so Dex, and then close to the next level, I need uh, four, seven, but basically eight. Okay, that's, that's fine. Hey, Fontana, get some meat on your bones, but I can't, I'm all hollowed out. <laughs> I think you see my hot, there's level 94 hollowing 99, I'm maximum hollowed. Now, I believe I do have items that like give the impression of not so i got the dragon headstone it's going to be with the power of everlasting dragons used in secret right by dragon worshippers getting the head of a dragon emit dragon breath a transformation that's irreversible until death those who choose the power of the dragon strive for perfection perfect imitation and the dragon head right is the first step of this grand process um yeah what is it called i think it's i think it's called like the shriving stone or something I know that what's her face sells it, the 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 darkness lady. Um You uh reduce it inhabitants use the secret I think maybe Reduces Kurt and cures Holloway. Yeah, I think that would do. Um uh -huh. but I said I needed what eight thousand? Um so I do have just an eight there, but I'll use a five and a three. Because, as I said before, you kind of want to save the biggest souls for later. Like, after you used all the smaller ones, you can then, you know, use the bigger ones. Okay, cool. Good, good. Just boost my damage. Get as high as possible. Use the, use the smaller ones later. Or, no, use the smaller ones sooner. Use the larger ones later because each level takes more, so you want the bigger souls amounts to be able to finish the levels that come. That's why. I'm also just sitting on all the boss souls because I like using the generic souls first. How, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? What the heck? Eh. Uh, okay. I was expecting that enemy to be a drop enemy, but guess not. Large Titanite Shard. It's interesting that these guys are dropping large Titanite Shards instead of chunks. Given at what point Ancient Dragon Great Shield. Given at what point like you have to access this area, or you can access it. Um, Dragon at Great Shield, or Ancient Dragon Great Shield. One shield very slowly regenerates HP. So if I want to regen HP, I could just have this on my back. Pain is the result of an exquisite but painstaking technique. Lingering, undying traits of the Ancient Dragons can still be seen in their descents. The Man Serpents, though they have fallen far from grace. Yeah. See, a version of that shield is what I had on my back perpetually throughout Demon Souls. Um, I had that, because it was also like a pretty darn good shield. 
anyway, so I had that on my back like the entire game in when I played through the remake. Um, and it was just fantastic. <laughs> because in that game, because Demon Souls is like the first of like the FromSoft like Souls esque games. Um and in that game, there was no um Estus Flask. All of your healing items were consumables. So having anything that made it so you could use less of those was fantastic. Otherwise, like what happened to me, you would have to spend a bit of time grinding out healing items for future things. Where it's like, okay, guess I'll just like grind out levels and healing items by continuously going to like, like this one bonfire and then going to backstab an enemy and doing stuff. Because it's just like, yeah, I need this. Like, I desperately need these healing items, so... God damn it. There we go. Okay, ice cream or steak and needs? Um... Well, you said you already had quesadillas, right? So you're going for dessert? I would suggest ice cream. You know, lightning iron, in case you want to use that on any of on any these wannabe dragons. Hey. go but yeah and plunging attack yeah basically they keep putting plunging attack uh yes but what about second dinner oh okay you're embracing the hobbit ways as i suggested last time uh yeah then you know what i would say i would say st steak and nudes would probably be good as well although i can't say i often have steak and noodles it's usually steak or noodles noodles don't noodles <laughs> uh Hello, Mr. Ping. Alright, that... Yeah, Mr. Ping is Poe's dad in Kung Fu Panda. Oh, there... Okay, there's the chunk that I was, that I was expecting more of. So, yeah, like, it, if you... After Osiris, if you did want to come and, like, get more chunks to upgrade your stuff, you could come here and try and do this. <laughs> and come, hopefully, get some quick chunks, but, uh... I wouldn't suggest it. Well, the stores around here had some thin ribeyes that were on special type offer. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can't I can't remember the last time I personally bought a steak for myself. That's one of those foods where I'm like, I never buy steak for myself because I the, that's a cut of meat that I'm or like anything that's just like steak like, I'm like, I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> so I'll I'll usually only get it at restaurants. That way I know it'll be prepared good. Um, or prepared well, I guess I should say. There we go. You guys think you're Batman? You're not? I'm cooler than you. I didn't even have to I didn't even have to lock on to you. This one? I didn't even have to lock on to this one. This one's pathetic. This one? This one's pathetic. Eh. Come on. Get off. Uh, it's just protein to me once I throw it in it. <laughs> throw it in it. Oh, I mean, yeah, definitely at that point. If you're cooking it with noodles, right? Uh, it's becoming like the... It's becoming the main... I don't say the main thing in the noodles, but it's becoming like the main additive in the noodles. Then, oh yeah, no, then, then at that point, you don't have to be too worried about it. God darn you. There we go. Just continue the thing. Keep going. But it's hot dog or steak. I'm good. Mmm. See, it see it sounds so odd to say, like, oh, hot dog and noodles. But then you say, like, oh, yeah, mac and cheese with hot dogs cup. And, and you're like, oh, yeah, no, that's totally legitimate. <laughs> I mean, it's very much associated with childhood, but I've done it. Um, recently, within the past, like, couple months. Um, I say couple months, probably more like a few weeks. There we go. You're ain't nothing. Um, speaking of hot dogs. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, hot dog. Yeah, just two tiny chunks just sitting there. Hello there, sir. Might interest you in a couple blades. My blade is unbending. There we go. Oh, okay, tagged me from a distance. Have you heard of the human hot dog paradox? Um... No? No, I have not. Please elaborate, I'm curious now. 
Sounds gross, but also potentially not. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to leave the big one alone for a tad. So I can take that one out. Okay. So hot dog is meat inside intestines or some other case, correct? Yes, that is that is hot dog and basically any sausage. That, that is how sausages are in fact made. Usually they take the intestines of I think pigs are the most common. Damn it. I think pigs are the most common um, intestine type. Uh, if you eat hot dogs and they travel inside you, at some point, are you creating a hot dog inside you? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say so, right? Because they're taking the meat and putting it inside of an intestine, but they're also tying it off. They're not just like, it's not just, oh, Free freestanding intestine. Okay, yeah, I can just drop down over there after I get this item. But I, I, I definitely, I definitely get the idea of it. Where like, oh, you're eating the meat that would go inside of a hot dog or a sausage, and it, it will eventually get to your intestine. Now, however, I would also make the difference that by the time it gets to your intestine. It's not meat anymore. <laughs> right? Like, by that point, it's not meat. It's gross, like, fecal matter. <laughs> that they're just, just finally going through, like, the the last bits of it. But, but it's just a, are you saying that a hot dog has to be made properly to be a hot dog? Gatekeeper. I mean, I wouldn't say it has to be made properly. But I would expect there to be some... You know, oh god, I have to run all the way around. Damn, if I knew that, I would have gone to the other place first. Yeah, well, at least everything's dead. And that's why you kill everything as you're running around. Not when you're fighting the dragon, because the dragon's still breathing fire at you as you're running around, so that's a big danger. Um, but when you're exploring an area, you usually try and clear it out. But yeah, no, it, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, if your intestines came before your stomach... Right then, I could definitely see the uh, paradox being a little bit more standing. Um, however, given that by the time it gets to your intestines, it's already kind of been processed by your stomach acids and not exactly turned into it's not meat anymore. It's it's what was meat. Let's do a podcast about on these food questions. Okay, I mean, I'm guessing there are a lot of interesting ones. Like, is it Kit Kat a lasagna? Um. <sighs> is cere cereal. I, I am loath to call cereal soup. I am more willing to say that it is. That it is something. It is a. Milk is the sauce, and cereal is the thing that is being sauced. Is the ocean soup? Because no, in my mind, soup is something that has to be like cooked, right? You have to you have to cook a soup. It has to be put on the stove and it has to be boiled or reduced or something. I, I don't think soup is just things in liquids. Um. Okay. Damn it, you bitch. Go. Okay. Drake with great sword. There we go. Okay. So if I remember right, I think this was just kinda I think the teleport 
I think all the teleport did. I can't quite remember. I think over here is the other bonfire. Yeah. So all the teleport did was make it so you didn't have to run around this loop again, even though you probably would have wanted to. Um, my favorite one was the lasagna paradox. Oh, God. All these paradoxes. <laughs> Paradoxical. Oh, you... You are a joy to be around. I'm sure people love you at parties. I'm sure you are the life of the party, friend. There we go. Not even all that worth it. Um, okay. Here, get that one, and then, yeah, this drops down. So all of, like, all that teleport did was make it so you didn't have to run all the way around. However, I feel like you would want to run around because there were so many items there that you'd probably skip because, you know, there's a dragon breathing fire at you. So all that did was made it so I had to go back and do the loop again. <laughs> anyway. Um, because during the normal course of, like, the exploration, like, running around to get to the dragon, you would see that there was a fog door there anyway that was blocking your path, so you'd know to go back there anyway to come here. Um, and do some stuff. But yeah, I like how you can definitely tell that this was, like, civilization or, um, like, very populated and all, like, with all these, like, just carcasses in the way of the dragon pose just hanging. Hanging out. I like how you can pick up the Dragon Slayer spear through the grate. Um, the other cool thing is you're seeing where the Lord of the Storms and Nameless Boss or Nameless King boss fight takes place, but from the other side of the boss arena. Um, Dragon Slayer's spear. Um, so let's take a look at that. Cross spear associated with Ornstein the Dragon Slayer. Yeah, Ornstein and Smo. Uh, or smog for smog. Not sure. Um, a weapon of the gods imbued with the strength of lightning. Two-handed thrust utilizes the support of the cross and requires great might, but can pierce deep into the flesh of dragons and send mere men flying. There we go. Yeah. So you picked up or uh, you picked up Smog's hammer um, back in uh, Irithel, and here you pick up. Um, here you pick up Ornstein's. Um, there's nothing here. Um, and I could sit, but I'm gonna gonna keep going. Cause I got I got got ten sips, nine sips, so I should be good. Eh. You bitch. You guys are just the worst. Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw the um, saw the new Thor movie on Saturday. It was it was a good movie. It was a good movie. And I had a great time with friends. Yep. There we go. Titanite scale. Yeah, you're also getting a lot of Titanite scales, which would be goddamn perfect if I was upgrading anything that needed it. Um. Okay. So this. Don't know where this goes down to, but we shall find out. Um, okay. Where is this? Oh, okay. So that's an that's an interesting. Well, whatever. Do you remember the two or from that quest? Yeah. The, the weird one that split and still had its own, like, individual identity or something. Because don't they have, like, a hive mind? Um. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Doesn't matter. That's an... You see, that's an, that's an odd one. I don't know why that elevator you would even want to use. Because there's no... Like, the bonfire... The earliest bonfire here is beyond those dragons. I, I guess it would save you if I were to run around, but I mean, you get that, then you have that bonfire. 
So I don't see a reason why you would want to go back down and around. Um, but regardless. Um, of sorts, they basically all understand the same will with the connection to the... Oh, ah, okay. So it's not... Okay, so they... Okay, so it's not necessarily a hive mind, but it's kind of that. Yeah. You know, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to whip out my shield. That'll make things a tad quicker. Hey, come on. Come, come fight me, bitch. Come fight me. Yeah, I mean, so it seems like there are more missions with the two, but we left them seeming like non Seleg is falling in love with Nen Seleg. Didn't he... Didn't Nen Seleg split from Nan? <laughs> I mean, wasn't... Wasn't that the entire idea of that quest? In split like normal, so I don't know if I would call it a normal division. But, they didn't split like normal, but it still came from the first one, right? It was an abnormal division, but still a division nonetheless. And you... You are just... Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't realize you could parry. You, okay, you guys just decide to style on me real quick. That was unappreciated. Okay. <laughs> Glad I found that out. I only split from a reaction to a what? Ah, okay. Yeah, um... Oh, okay. You... You jackasses. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Running this way. Get you out of here. Fucking Christ. Okay. Good. Just be gone with you. These guys drop chunks, so they're like, if you did really want to upgrade your weapon, this would be the place to go. <laughs> oh, God. Just the classic Dark Souls step out, enemy, enemy on either side. Just the classic sandwich maneuver. You gotta just absolutely abhor it. <laughs> Do it because it's good. I mean, I guess you can get around it by dropping down over there to get the get the get a one up on them, right? But still. Okay, so this is a rickety ass path over there. Actually, I think this rickety ass path goes to the bonfire. Yep. Nope, I am thinking much too far ahead right now, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna head back and go explore that thing. Because I literally thought the bonfire was gonna be right there. <laughs> but I'm thinking of somewhere else. Well, basically, I'm thinking of right before the boss fight. But I thought that was, like, right there. But this area is a bit bigger than that. Just a wee bit bigger. Slightly bigger than a wee. Haha. <laughs> a wee you? Maybe. A wee? Definitely. But who would know what the actual size of a wee you is? No one has one. Except for one of the few people in my chat. <laughs> because he's playing Xenoblade Chronicles X on it. Um, okay, so that was ring um that was thunderstone plate right <laughs> stone plates are symbols of true knights and yellowstone plates grand li increases lightning damage absorption yeah they're really giving you a whole bunch of hey do more lightning damage to kill the dragons and also you know uh take less lightning damage 
Because, hey, where there be dragons, there be people that want to kill dragons. Oh my god, that's the entire plot line of how to train your dragon, fucking literally all of them. Um, okay, so I don't know which way I want to go first, so I'm going to go over here. Okay, so this is just a chest. Cool. Safe, because it was looking away from me. Titanite scale. Really just giving me Titanite scales out the wazoo. Spoilers. That will not stand for Wii U Erasure. Nah, you know, it existed, but, you know, no one bought it. Because <laughs> it was poorly marketed. And also, it was, didn't have... How many games does did that game have in its library? Like, like, I don't think it had a lot. Not to say that the games it had were necessarily bad, but I don't remember it having a lot of games. Okay. Yeah, excuse me there 789 okay I feel like that's not all that much hello there sir might I ask you um to calm your roll my dude so this is actually a dragon I think that you can bite and kill You don't... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to right now because it seems like a pain in the derriere. I'm speaking French now. That's not the Duolingo that I'm taking. Um, but, nonetheless... Jesus. Yeah, we got this guy. We got... Naked rapier man. There we go. Yeah. Cell sword wind blades. GameCube at 600. Really? Okay. Rickard's rapier. Yeah, Rickard. I think he's in. I think he is in. Oh, okay. This is where I was thinking. Yeah. The bonfire. I think is. Yeah, right over here. I think Rickard was in DS1. I think also. I think as a summon. But he was also, I think, naked in there as well. Um, but yeah, Rickard's rapier. A strikingly decorated rapier of an undead prince spoken of in ancient stories. Although many of the tales surrounding the prince are questionable, this thrusting weapon suggests that the stories of his graceful technique were in fact true. But yeah, so basically, boss fight's over there. So, we're not gonna go to it just yet. Uh. Okay. But yeah, I wanted to go kill the fat lady before anything else because she would just be an annoying person. Not for being fat, she just was fat and annoying. I'm fat. I hope I'm not annoying. Let the praise the sun! I'm assuming this means online, but according to Wikipedia, the Switch has 4,404 games. I mean, that's... That definitely includes, like, online and other ports. Um, I don't know where that goes. Actually, I kind of do know where that goes. Um, but I can level. So let's go sit and go back to Firelink and level, because there is more area to explore. A little bit. It's not very much, but there is still some. So I will be doing that. But I do not want to die, so I need to sit. And if I'm sitting, I might as well go to... Sh might as well go to the shrine, bon shrine Bonfire so I don't risk losing souls. And 360 had 2,154 for a less online. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Come well, over here. Speak about heart's it. desire. Yeah. Give me more strength. Because <laughs> I need it. I'm going to need to be able to do as much damage as possible. Because I'm coming up on one of the hardest bosses in the game. Or arguably the hardest boss in the game. And one of the harder FromSoft bosses in general. Because <laughs> I, I can't remember 
what like the community consensus hardest boss was prior to millennia like dropping on the scene but i feel like nameless king was up there um, i feel like nameless king was up there and I, th I think it was probably i'm willing to bet it was um it's probably the last one of them was probably the orphan of cause um, another was most likely um, the uh, another was probably the final boss of um, painted world of Ariandel in this game. Cause was rough. See, I never, I never did Orphan of Cause. I never got the Bloodborne DLC. Um. Because, like, by the time the DLC came out, I was, like, I, w I, I don't want to say I was over it, but I was kind of, I, I was kind of done. Um, but, yeah, okay. So, here is a boy that we, that we, we all know and love from, uh, from DS1. It's Mother Flippin' Havel the Rock. Um, so, Havel is interesting because when I, uh, as I said, I guided my friend through essentially all of this game. This is one of the few guys that, like, when he was in, like, the bathroom or something, I, um, okay, he's got, he's got reach. Uh, I took a couple tries at, and I think I was the one who beat him with, um, um, with the Fair and Great Sword set. See, I feel like the most, uh, most unrealistic thing was that he, like, I remember when I watched people play this, they were like, how did I stagger Havel? Like, you don't stagger Havel, that's his entire thing. He's Havel the Rock. But then they you see him do that move, uh, and it's like, oh, okay, I can't stagger him now. When he's not rockified, you can do quite a bit uh, to him. He also does a bit to you, because that is the... I think it's called the Dragon Tooth. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Yeah, so he's not hes not easy. Um, I, I probably should have healed up before I went in for that attack, but... Yeah, so that, that was one of the first enemies that I actually beat on my friend's save file. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was also why I didn't want to... You know, hold on to essentially a level's worth of item, or a level's worth of souls, because I knew that, one, Havel was there, and he posed a risk. There are only two boss I have not beaten in Bloodborne. Oh, yeah? I mean, if you've beat Orphan of Cause, then that means you've gotten pretty, pretty deep in. Remember the one that messed with me quite a bit was, um, was Ebriatus, or Ebriatus. Um, that one... That one took me a bit. Because that was one of those bosses where the first attempt was the best because it was in, like, a special state where it just let you get a bunch of free hits in. But every subsequent attempt, it wasn't in that state. Oh, yeah, Jellyface. Yeah, see, the boss right before Abriot is easy as hell. Um, but Abriot is not so much. Um, okay. Uh, you know what? Let's keep doing close. Skatu su sukato. Kutsu? Kutsu? Skato. Orangiro. Orangiro. See this one? Nice color. Orangi. <laughs> Just orange. Orangi. Skato. Skato. Kutsu. 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 Shoes. Skato. Skato. Kono skato wa kiroi desu. Kono skato wa kiroi desu. Wait, kiroi? Oh, wait, ki... wait. Ki... Kiroi. I like Kiroi. Yellow. This skirt is yellow. This skirt is yellow. Uh, so the two are Cursed Amygdala uh, and Yarnum Therimian Queen? Are those... other DLC bosses? <laughs> because... Cursed Amygdala, I feel like I remember. Because that one's in, like, the weird area. It's, like, in front of a tower. 
I don't remember that one really posing on much trouble. It was just the big fingers, right? Like, it was thrown out at your hands. Nope. They're in the... Ch oh, they're in Chaz. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. So I never... I didn't fight those ones either. I I engaged with Chaz Dungeons once and was like, neat. I'm going to go back to the story. <laughs> Quote, unquote, story. Orenjiro. Orenjiro. So this is a review access. So Kinoa Uchi ni Imashita. Yesterday I stayed at home. Uh, yesterday I stayed at home. Because Kino is yesterday, so yesterday Uchi ni Imashita. So Uchi is like home and also us, like the family. So I stayed home. Uh ni kinda of indicating place Imashita and Imashita just existed there. Curse from Megiddo is the same enemy, but you are cursed to have half health. Oh, great. And Yonam is the queen of the ancient Thumarians that tried to ascend to Great One's Dad. Ah, interesting. Choose. Kutsu. 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 Choose. Kutsu. Choose. Those shoes are orange. Those shoes are orange. Zubon. These something are white. Zubon wa. Zubon. Pants. Zubon. These pants are white. Interesting. Zubon. Pants. Zubon. Shiroi pants. White underwear. Uh, as people that uh, peruse the anime sphere, Pantsu. Pantsu. Oh my god, oh Pantsu. Uh. White Pantsu. Uh, okay, so uh, I wear white shoes, haki mashita. So that's the lower wear one. So that instead of ki mashita, it's ha haki mashita. Ha haki mashita. Haki. I put on white shoes. Kanojo wa kiroi kutsu o hakimasu. Kanojo wa kiroi. Kanojo wa kiroi kutsu o hakimasu. Kutsu. O. No, that's boku. Boku. Yeah. Haki. Haki. Masu. Kanojo wa kiroi kutsu o hakimasu. So she is wearing, or she, yeah, she is wearing yellow shoes. Boshi. Boshi. Fuyu. Fuyu. Oh, that's winter. Interesting. Okay. And this is Ana. Ane. Yeah. She wears yellow shoes. Ano kutsu wa aoi desu. Those shoes are blue! Blue. There we go. Is that that's low is I think hikui egg is tamago many is taksan shigeru shigeru uh kiroi yellow where are we looking kiroi, kiroi. Uh, haki you wait no yeah haki 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 it's haki haki uh Akai. Akai. Kutsu shoes. Aoi. 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 Grails of Ao. Grails of Ao. Ao. Kutsu shoes. Shiroi white. Shiroi. Haki to wear on the feet. Hiro. Hiro. Kiro. Kiro. There we go, baby. Okay, back to the Dark Souls. The, it was the best of souls, and it was the darkest of souls. Okay. Back out this way. Let me just... Yeah. Up through here. There we go. Okay, 2,600 for that. Oh my god, that 
a lot of fire damage. God damn it. See, the thing is, I don't want to, like, clank on, um, the side over and over again, which is why I, uh, which is why I tried to take that guy so slow. Okay, so my souls are over here. Hello. Damn it. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, heal up, because now I'm not, um, cindered anymore. So I can't take nearly as many hits. Damn it. Damn it! Fuck! Oh. That one, like, he, his hits just do so much poise damage. Oh, fuck. Okay. Another one. See, that one I got two aggro. I was like, oh, if I don't let him... Because, like, I, I was able to break his poise before. So I was like, oh, if I just keep up the attack... Eventually, it'll break, but it, uh, it resulted in my untimely demise, <laughs> um, which was unfortunate. So let's go there. Um, I've been doing clothes, so let's, let's go review family. So, uh, how old are you? How old are you? Uh, Musume, Musume. Mago, no, that's Suma, that's wife, Suma. Suma. Mago, grandchildren, Mago. Shinseki, relatives, Shinseki. Musuko, Musuko, son. Uh, this is my husband, John. This is my husband. Husband. How old is your child? Um, Oko-san. Oko uh, wa. Uh, Ikutsu. This There we go. Oh, no, see, uh, this is my husband, Shigeru. How old are your children? Um, Okusan Tani wa Ikutsu desu ka? Yeah, yeah, Tachi, uh, as plural. Um, where are you? This is. Koko. Koko, yeah, uh, high school. Uh, Mago Musume. Mago Musume. Granddaughter. Okairi Nasai. Okairi Nasai. Um, what are you? You are. Kenta. Kenta, that's it. Kenta, that's just the name. This is my wife, Maria. This is my wife, Maria. My brother's husband is Canadian. Um. Um, so where are we going? Uh, Ani, Ani no, no, uh, husband, Otto, Otto. Ani no Otto, wa, Canada, Jin, des. There we go. How old are your children? This is my husband, John Kochira, uh, uh, Kochira, no. no. Otto. no John. This. There we go. Go to that ga, because this sub particle. Otto no husband of your husband's John. Oko san wa o ikutsu desu ka? Uh, how old is your my old? This is my wife, Sakura. Ko Kochira ga Tsuma no Sakura desu. Uh, Kochira ga Tsuma no Sakura no desu. Honda-san no oko-san wa 17-sai desu. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Honda's uh, child. 17. Here we go. This is my husband, Shigeru. Kochira ga Otto no 
あ、シゲです。私には妻と3人の子供がいます。私には妻と3人の子供がいます。I um, have a wife and three children. I have a wife and three This is my wife Maria. Yeah, Kochira. Nope. Kochira. There we go. Yeah. Suma no Maria. Yes. There we go. Come on. I have a wife and three children. Wakashi ni wa Suma to san shito. Tosami no. no Kodomo Ga I Mas. This no, I'm not exactly sure about. Okay. Okay. Because I knew that there I felt like there had to be something between Sanin and Kodomo. So I was yeah, I was right. There we go. Cool. Okay. There we go. So let's try again, but be careful this time. Um, and if I die again, I'll just go explore regularly. Or I might just call it stream there, because I've been going for two and a half hours. I did start a little bit early, like 10 to 15 minutes early. But um, I will say Dark Souls, just being the way it is, is something that just does tire you out more than other things because you're looking at reaction time you're looking at like memory of like remembering move sets you're looking at just the general stress of playing uh and like your uh resource management um Damn it, are you freaking serious? Okay, as long as he doesn't have his shield up, he's pretty... He's pretty fleshy. Which is good. Get the quick backstab. Okay, and then. Dude, safety sip, be full. Un, un. Shouldn't I should have known? Eh. See, the thing is, like, this is a guy you can't trade with. It is trading is not viable against this guy. There we go. BB! Dragon Tooth Hovel's Great Shield. So let's take a look at that Dragon Tooth and look at the strength you need. 40. Yup. Um, physical reduction 60, so it's honestly pretty good as a reduction. Created from an everlasting Dragon Tooth that will never break. Left by Havel himself, along with his boulder like Great Shield, grants its wielder resistance to magic and fire. Perseverance, anchor weapon, and earth temporarily boost poise, damage reduced while activated. Then got the Great Shield. A tremendously solid and heavy Great Shield cut straight from a great slab of stone. Right? It's not forged. It's just... <laughs> they just took a pickaxe to a cliff and then cut out a shield. 
<laughs> Said to be a relic of the legendary Havel the Rock, along with the Dragon Tooth, the shield is imbued with a special power reminiscent of Havel himself. Stone flesh, raise the shield in silent prayer, turning the user's body into a solid mass of stone. Basically raising your poise to extreme heights so you can just kind of tank anything. And another Titanite Slab. So, um, basically, the, the, this area rewards you. It's like, hey, this is completely optional. It's hard. Um, here's another Titanite Slab. So basically, the I think the two ways not quest-related is going up to the Angels up in Lothar Castle. Defeating all of them, they give you a slab there. That's one. Two, coming here, uh, getting that. Then, I think after that, every every other slab... I'm not even sure if there are many others. I got one from Sigurd. Um, is quest-based. So, yeah. Have to be a little bit more careful. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna over here. God damn it, damn it, you fucking horse. Yeah, come on. Come on over, he flipping bastard. There we go. You have your neck out. See, it's one of those things where, like, neither of the ways that I really play are great against these guys. Because my main way is, like, hey, just run at them and use L1, which is just the Salsor Twin Blade mantra. L1. Um, <laughs> L1 to be L done. Um, and then the other way is have shield up and go at it a bit slower. But, I mean, it's not... Like, against these guys, they're kind of annoying in both Specs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Did not want to be fighting multiples of you. Fuck. Serious? How did I not kill you with that? Nope, 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 nope. Double sip. Just be done with it. Okay, good. Flipping Chris Kringles. Done with that. Be done with that. Oh my god, and two big ones. Um Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, pull back a little bit. See the big ones? Not the hard ones, honestly. But I just don't want to fight two of them at the same time. That's the main worry. Check out what's down here. You have to check that out. Ember, cool. Ah, okay. So that lets you go down there without. Okay, ping the bell first. Okay. Watch Titan Night Shard. Okay. 
Oh my god. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna run by and collect everything. Because you can. Um, is it only here if you kill everything? I know that there's, or is it only after you kill Nameless King? Basically, this is supposed to be a twinkling, sparkling dragon torso. So that might only be after Nameless King. Not sure. Are you freaking serious? Okay. That's one. Now let's go take out the other, just to make sure. Because if it's all of them have to be dead before I can get the thing, then so be it. So very much. Okay. Oh. Those bastards. Bastard lads. I can hear, like... It almost sounds like snoring. Or like breathing. Back up over here. Yeah, we got dragons very overgrown. I think there's supposed to be something here. Oh well. Oh well. Doesn't matter. I checked. And I know what it is, right? It's just another thing to make. Basically, you can use the dragon head and dragon torso stones to turn you into a dragon, use a special move. To use a spe to like use a special move, basically become dragon, um, and the thing up there it's supposed to be like a twinkling one, twinkling dragon head or dragon torso that's essentially a boosted version of the uh, of the uh, thing. So I'm gonna go back to Firelink, level up. Probably have to pop some items. Yeah, I have 41. I have to definitely pop. And then I'm going to try Nameless King one time. And that's after that one time and subsequent Duolingo lesson. Uh, that's where I'm going to call it. Okay, so I need 15,000. Sell. So I need 15,000. Um, I'll just do that. Uh. Good. Is that enough? No, I still need 400 more. But I have you. There we go. Yeah. Be sure. Yep, 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 yep. Shut up, Granny. Yep. Thank you. Welcome. Very venting. Sovereignless souls. Boom. Give me all the damage I could ever want. Farewell, Ash and Okay. So the thing is, right, I could try and put on equipment that has better lightning resist, because I do know that the enemy that I'm about to go fight is lightning. 
but I also kind of want to try my hand at what I got right now. Because it, the thing is, it's not like pure lightning. There's also a lot of physical damage that's going to be occurring. So, it doesn't necessarily help me all that much to change. It might help me a little bit, but... <clears throat> not going to... It's not, it's not like when you're fighting a magic boss that's firing magic at you, or an element boss where it's like, oh, it's shooting fire at you, that's like it's every move. Nothing will remain once the bell is told, yeah. Okay. Um, where it's like, oh, I'm using this element against you specifically, right? Where it will be obvious to wear something that helps with that resistance. Um, most of the time, it's just best to have the best kind of, like, physical stuff, and then all the other stuff is kind of add-on. Unless it's that case where... Obviously, like, a magic arrow, or obviously a miracle, or obviously a pyromancy, a fire thing, at which point that might be a little bit better. But most of the time, it's just rely on physical defenses while also maintaining the role that you wish. But... This is a thing. Ring the bell, change the world, get ready for a party. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Maybe I will get lucky and I will first try this. But I also might not. Yeah. So the cool thing is, right, like, here you're able to see, like, where you dropped down to before. But you don't drop down nearly as far. So, you like, you know that, like, yeah, there's a there's a thing down there. I, like, I literally went down there, but right now I'm walking on an invisible platform. Uh, and basically the boss fight happens above the room that I grabbed the, uh, the, yeah, you can even see an item down there that I'll be able to pick up after the boss fight. Um over the room where I picked up the cross spear. But yeah, so... This is... Boss. King of the Storm. Okay. So this is actually one of the best example boss fights of... It's a little bit easier if you're not locked on. Because if you're locked on, it's kind of difficult to tell where you need to hit. But also, this boss is a tad atrocious in... hitting the head of the beast, which is where most of the damage will occur. Damn it. Yeah. What? Sip, sip. I nice think I almost ringed out there. Uh. Sip. Okay, in the middle of another sip. So we got to we got to phase two first try. That's it's pretty good. <laughs> okay, but yeah. So this is this is where the boss fight gets really real. The first phase isn't. All that, well, the first phase is tough if you don't know what to expect. Um, but the second phase of the fight is always going to be a bit tough. You don't, you can't see this, but I am drying my hands on my pants. <laughs> right, currently, because getting sweaty. Getting sweaty. Pro gamer sweat. 
Okay, come on. Yeah, okay, so his shockwaves do damage. Okay. Okay, that's the safe set. Okay, you know what? For a first attempt on on a pretty hard boss, I did pretty good. I got through about what a fifth of it, a fifth of the second health bar. But yeah, after you do um, after you do that, actually, it might be after you ring the bell that you can go get the twinkling thing. But um, regardless, um, yeah. So that that's the fight. But the nice part is if you die in the fight. They do let you get your souls, like, right there. You don't have to drop off and get them, because you can't go back. Um, uh, but, okay. Yeah. So, that is where I'm going to call the Dark Souls portion of today's stream. I'm still going to uh, do this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose a quick one. Um, I'm just going to do Hiragana, too. Uh, yasai. Yasai. Amai. Amai. Sweet. Uh, sushi, sushi, yasai, yeah, uh, kitanai, hoshi, want, uh, sweet, amai, osake, want, hoshi, kitanai, kitanai, dirty, konnichiwa, konnichiwa, yasai, sushi. Oh wait, damn it! I, I said the right thing, but I did the wrong thing. Teriyaki, uh, where are we? Uh, teriyaki, konnichiwa, konnichiwa. Hello, like suki, osake, osake, alcohol, uh, oh, oh. sake, teriyaki, 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 no. osake, oh. Oh. osake, suki, 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 there we go, yasai, there we go, boom. So it's things like that where you're able to rapidly do it, and that's probably one of the main things that's forced me, or I don't want to say forced me, that I've used essentially as an excuse to not progress nearly as far into the lessons as I should and could have over the 1,122 days that I've been doing this, where it's, oh, I can just go back and review one of the other ones. Now, review is fine, but there's a point where it's like, it's locked in there. Like, it's really hard in there. Like, you're not going to forget, and the review is next to pointless and doesn't do much and i would just be doing it to meet the 10 xp threshold um and that's what i'm trying to kind of break myself out of with <laughs> dark souls <laughs> and also just in general um but uh thank you everyone for dropping by today uh much appreciated thank you Fontana, for dropping by and talking uh so made, made pretty good progress we beat um we beat uh, Lord of Cinder, so now once we beat Nameless King, we will be able to um, proceed on and to the final boss, unless the sub-goal incentive gets met and I do the DLC, at which point I'll do the DLC prior to the final boss. Um, but regardless, thank you all very much for dropping by today. I will be streaming again tomorrow, so I hope you'll drop by then as well. So I hope you all have a very nice night, and I'll see you later. Bye!